everybody, Almighty's and Taco here, and today I'm going to show you a game I've been working on for about a week and a half. Uh, currently, I'm calling it Space Monkeys. It's an endless runner for the Android. And if I get any traction on Android, I'm going to uh, port it to the iOS as well as some tablets and stuff. So let's get started. What you do is essentially uh, pretend this were a phone. You just touch the screen to hold it in to fly. And if you tap the uh, rocket button on the bottom left, you fire a rocket, which you can use to blow up these asteroids. So you want to collect these coins avoid asteroids and there's also these ore asteroids that you can blow up and get ore from and you use coins and ore to buy upgrades um, here, let me show you this real quick <clears throat> if you leave the screen you can't just leave the screen if you leave the screen you get eaten by a space shark <laughs> and uh, also if you stick around at the top or the bottom too long you also get eaten by a space shark and so you, there's an indication that that's about to happen because it starts turning red <clears throat> and that's a piece of ore there so let me show you what the ore looks like so I figure I'll just have a whole bunch of power-ups and um, uh, just, you know, abilities and stuff that you can unlock through the use of coins and ore. There's the ore. Also, <clears throat> I have a gun, which I haven't put in the game yet. You can't activate it on the Android, but I have a hotkey right now bound just to test it. So I'll show you that really quick. Let me avoid this crap. Alright, here's my gun. And you can use the gun to just kind of do a small amount of damage to everything. It's not like the missile doesn't blow stuff up right away. But if you... Oh, here's the crabs. These crabs, they grab you and they pull you down. And you can get rid of them by either getting hit by something. Like if you hit something, they get uh, dislodged. <coughs> Excuse me. Or um, if you have a missile and you shoot a missile, you'll blow them off of you. So, so far I only have three enemies. I have... Uh, I got the crabs. There's some jellyfish that fly in a sign movement arc. And then there's a big dude who shoots, um, he shoots laser beams. I guess I have the sharks too. They're more of a, just a way of keeping you off the sides of the screen. But yeah, I got these uh, um, lanternfish is what they're called. And that lanternfish is, is, so far, he's my favorite part. I'm in trouble. I'm going to need to take a hit here. <clears throat> you don't want to stay, because the sharks kill you right away. I'm going to die. Nope. Uh, so you want to avoid the, the tops and bombs of the screen as best as you can. Uh, right now, the enemies don't spawn till 10 meters. You see the semi-transparent number there to the right? That's how far you've traveled. Uh, right now, it's kind of an arbitrary distance. It's not really meters. I mean, I haven't really figured it up. Bananas will give you your health back, but I just lost the health as soon as I got it, so that didn't do me much good. There's the lanternfish. This guy's got me in a pickle here. All right. He kind of keeps you sectioned off in different parts and makes it just kind of harder to move around. And his beam will kill you with one hit, no matter how much health you have. I can get this missile, I think. Nope, I missed it. I'm in trouble. Alright, I died. <clears throat> Let's give him one more try. And then I think you guys have seen everything I got so far. I'm thinking the goal is to maybe get um, a thousand meters. Maybe you're trying to get to a black hole or something. I don't really have a story yet. So if anyone has any cool ideas for enemies or a story or whatever, uh, let me know in the comments and you know you guys can be a part of this. Another thing I want to do is, as you play, you slowly speed up. Um, so I'd like to have it so that that initial speed is determined by a kind of a mini game at the beginning, where you're maybe like you're trying to press the button when the, a bar is max to get the top speed. Ah, jeez, this game is a little hard. I am gonna have you be able to unlock more health and stuff though, so it'll probably get easier as you put time into it. Now, I've never really released a game for the Android, so this will be my first actual game. A couple years ago, I made a, um, it was a uh, fortune cookie application, and I think maybe like 50 people downloaded it. All it did is it would just, you click it, and you would get a fortune cookie, and you open it. <clears throat> so this is, this is the longest I've ever spent on an Android game. So hopefully, hopefully this gets me some traction and some money. I'd like to be able to do this for a living. Though, you know, I have no illusions. I realize that odds are probably that this will just disappear into the void that is the Google Play market. So you can blow those guys up. I'm gonna get eaten. There's nothing I can do. If I went down, I would have taken a hit. Another thing I was thinking, maybe like shark repellent you could buy. And it'll keep, it'll like uh, <clears throat> decrease the speed at which the sharks will attack you when you're at the top and bottom of the screen. 
I've gotten to uh, about 100 is the furthest distance I've gotten. You really start to pick up speed if you don't get hit by stuff. Every time you hit something, you slow down. I'm not sure if that's a good game design or not. Probably gonna have some kind of power-ups that make you move faster and then things you can hit to slow down. And I don't know, I'm gonna add maybe like five or six more enemies. Maybe mix it up a little bit and then, uh, then I'm gonna release this thing. Maybe I'll make a little bit of money. Probably not, we'll see. We'll see how far I can get, this will be my last go. And so far everything's really just random. I don't have much of a system yet for spawning things. Certain enemies only spawn after certain distances, but other than that, they're just being spawned like one out of a thousand times. I got a counter running constantly. Whenever that counter hits one, it spawns them. There is a limiter though, so you, they can't spawn more than once, like every 10 seconds or so. So you won't see them back to back typically. Sometimes you play the game and it's really busy, and other times it's not. Oh, um, it seems like these dudes just come out of nowhere all at once. Like, those two guys spawned at the exact same time. That seems unlikely. I should look into that. Oh, hell, I'm dead. <clears throat> Alright, so this is my Space Monkeys game. Uh, I hope you guys found it interesting. If you have anything, any suggestions or anything to say about it, uh, please put that in the comments. I'm open to suggestions and would certainly be willing to put in some of your guys' ideas. So. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you thought this was cool, and I will catch you guys later. Have a good one.